What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the third episode in my Real GP per hour for Zalra video series. And in this video, I am going to be testing out the Elite Void method. Now, a lot of people do use Elite Void at Zalra, but honestly, after doing it for 250 kills, I really can't see why. There's only one reason that I can think of that people might use Elite Void here, and I will talk about that later. All right, so first thing is first, we're going to go ahead and get into the inventory setup and the gear setup that I'm going with for the Elite Void method. Over on the left, you can see what I'm currently wearing, which is my mage setup, the mage void hood, Elite Void top and bottom, and the void gloves. In the cape slot, a imbued Ceredoman god cape, but any of them will work. An occult necklace, an ancient blessing, but again, any of those blessings will work. A trident of the swamp. Book of Darkness, Mystic Boots, and a regular Ring of Recoil. Now, because Void is already, obviously it's free to use if you take the time to get the points and get the Void, so I wanted to try to keep this setup relatively cheap for people that might be down on their luck or looking to make money from pretty much nothing. So that's why I went with the Mystic Boots and the regular Ring of Recoil instead of the Ring of Suffering. Over in the inventory, you can see my range switch, which is only a five-way range switch, which would make my mage sw switch a six-way switch, which is pretty easy, especially if you're getting started with Zolra. So that includes the Void Range Helm, an Amulet of Fury, Ava's Assembler, some God Dehyde boots, Bandos are the cheapest, so I always have those, a, a Toxic Blowpipe. As for the potions, a Bastion Potion, and again, if you do not know what that is, it is a Ranging Potion paired with a Super Defense Potion. Anti-Venom Plus, because you will need Venom Immunity while fighting Zalra without a Serpentine Helm. Two Prayer Potions, two Carom Wands, an Angler Fish, 15 Sharks, and a Construction Cape. And if you don't have a Construction Cape, you will be replacing that with House Teleports and a Draman Staff. Now I will say this, one benefit to using Void over Arams and Bless Dehyde and the Serpentine Helm is that I did spend quite a bit more time using my house to restore my stats and my hit points, run energy, and special attack energy. And the reason for this was because I was not able to do as many kills per trip. Now if I ended up with, let's say, four sharks left in a trip, then I would just skip right to the house, heal my HP, and bank because Void makes you incredibly squishy. Now you are going to take a ton of damage from the Snakelings and a ton of damage from the range attacks on the Mage phase from Zolra. But because I use my house pool a lot more, it actually decreased my supply costs a decent amount. So up on the screen now we have supplies used. Now, I would love to go through the individual cost of this with all of you, but that would take way too much time. So, 6,480 casts in the Trident of the Swamp, 4,085 scales in the Toxic Blowpipe, 1,196 Adamant Darts used, 102 Rings of Recoils, 78 Prayer Potions, which is pretty low compared to my other videos, 20 Bastion Potions, 46 Anti-Venom Pluses, 1,212 Sharks, 79 Carambuan, and 72 Anglerfish. So all in all, all of these supplies all added up, ended up costing me a grand total of 7,537,944. So in total, the supply costs ended up being about 1.1 million GP cheaper in Void rather than it did with the Arams and the Blessed Dehyde. And the reasons for this were because I used slightly less casts of the Trident of the Swamp. Void did hit actually a little bit better than the Arams and the Blessed Dehyde. And I also didn't use as many scales because I was using the Serpentine Helmet. Now using the Serpentine Helmet compared to the Anti-Venom Plus, it's actually cheaper to use the Anti-Venom Plus because Zalra doesn't always 100% poison you. So there are some pretty big gaps in there where you don't need to use an Anti-Venom. And also, I ended up using a lot less Prayer Potions, uh, 32 less prayer potions with the elite void setup. So that was a good chunk of chain. So all in all uh, 1.1 million GP cheaper to use void uh, rather than Arams and the blessed dehyde. Now before we go ahead and head into what kind of loot that I got while using the elite void setup, we'll go ahead and get into my kill times, kills per trip, kills per hour, all that good stuff. So my average kill time ended up being two minutes and two seconds with the elite void setup. 
Now I'll have to add 12 seconds to this as that was about the time that it took me between kills to pick up the loot and return and start the next Zolra kill. So 2 minutes and 14 seconds roughly per kill. As for my kills per trip, I ended up averaging 2.8 kills per trip but I'm going to go ahead and round that up to 3 kills per trip because it's right on the line there. This ended up averaging me 24 kills per hour with the time that it took me in between trips to bank. Now that ends up making my total time spent at Zalra for 250 kills in Elite Void at 10.34 hours. And now moving right along into the juicy part of the video, let's go ahead and take a look at my loot and let me tell you what, I could not be more pleased with how this video went. Now I did get pretty lucky with the rare drops which we'll get into in just a second. As for the Zulra scales, I ended up with 52,965 which was actually about 3,000 less than my other two videos. But as for the unique drops, pretty lucky. Ended up getting one Magic Fang, two Tanzanite Fangs which are the most expensive drop at Zulra at 4.8 mil each. And it ended up with a one Serpentine Visage, again at 3.8 mil each. So all of these added up, averaged me, or got me about 16 million GP just from Uniques alone. Now the Unique drop rate at Zolra is 1 in 128. Through 250 kills, I should have ended up with like 1.9 or something like that. Or if you round up, I could have seen 2. But I ended up getting 4 through these 250 kills, so this was pretty lucky for me. Some other good stuff that I ended up grabbing while I was there, 3,645 Law Runes, 6,900 Death Runes, Torstals were pretty good this time around, 50 of those for a 580k stack. As for the Coal, Coal is actually up in price, so that's a pretty good drop from Zolra right now at 726,000 for that stack, 200 Battle Staffs, 1.6 mil and 144 Zolandra Teleports, which was a nice stack at 3.2 mil cash, and some other random stuff in there. I did have a pretty good 250 kills for the Manta Ray drops as well, 1,120 of those at 1.3 mil, and all in all, my total gross loot value from these 250 kills in Elite Void was 45,424,552 GP. Now, honestly, it's really not that uncommon to see drops like this at Zolra. You could go 300 dry, or in 300 kills, you could see 5 or 6 uniques. You just never know. The drop rate is 1 in 128 for any of the unique drops, which puts your chances at 0.78%. So each kill that you do, you have a 0.78% chance at getting a unique drop, which is pretty close to 1%. And in terms of RuneScape drop rates, that is actually pretty good. So as for the looting statistics, my gross value again was 45,424,552 GP and my supply cost was 7,537,944 GP. So that will bring my total profit to 37,886,608 GP, which is not bad at all. Now again, I did get lucky with those uniques, but hey, it can happen to you just like it happened to me. This brings my gross value per kill to 181,698 and my profit per kill to 151,546 GP. Kind of reminds me of the old days at Zalra when the scale prices were so high up there you could make a ton of money in no time. So all of this statistics together ended up profiting me 3,637,104 GP per hour. Now that value at 3.6 mil per hour is a little bit unrealistic as for an average, so if we drop out two of those Tanzanite Fangs, just to give you a little bit more realistic of a number with the Elite Void, it ends up bringing my profit per hour down to 2,675,000 GP per hour, and that is a lot more accurate for a real average. So that is actually what you can really expect at Zolra. Uh, throughout you know 250 kills and you know averaging all that out now, I said this earlier that I was going to talk about this and why you might want to use Elite Void at Zulra so I said I had one reason but throughout making this video I ended up having two reasons so the first reason is going to be because well you're you're broke okay if you're trying to get back into the game or maybe you got cleaned at the duel arena lost all your money PKing or something if you still have that elite void set sitting around you can still see a decent amount of profit per hour with not much of an overhead cost 
If you have 500,000 GP laying around in supplies, you can buy Zolrus supplies for that. Go and make yourself maybe two to three mil just on that. So you can definitely turn that 500K that you have left over into something good. Now, as for the other reason, I did use less supplies than I did with Arams and the Blessed Ehide. So that is another plus. It's actually cheaper to do Zolra with Elite Void rather than a Serpentine Helmet and Blessed Ehide and Arams. But that is going to do it, guys. That is going to wrap up Episode 3 of the Real GP Per Hour for Zolra. I really hope that this video has given you a little bit of insight into how much that you can make per hour at Zolra using a different gear setup, one that is also still pretty good. I didn't particularly enjoy it because I took so much damage, but the statistics don't lie. It really can be a good money maker, even if you don't have that much money to spare. So as usual, everybody, if you like this video, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up down below. They really help the video's popularity. And if you haven't done so yet, please smash that subscribe button on your way out. All of your support means a ton to me. And if you would also like to, you can check out the link in the description below to check out my Patreon. You can become one of my patrons and pledge to me. And that really helps me keep the channel going, keep the good content coming, and keep the good videos flowing. With that, guys, I will see you guys on the next Zolra video. Take it easy, everybody.